God bless you, Kathy, but Kathy, Doug, B, Marvin, Michael. Did I miss somebody? Hi. Danny, Danny. I'm sorry, I'm looking at Danny in the face. But just like uh, Sister Simeon was saying just a second ago, in 1980, 1981, uh, there was a revival schedule for Bay Johnson, for Pastor Ray Bay Johnson. And the revival was scheduled for African, couldn't make it. And they sent this preacher from Oklahoma, Muscovy, Oklahoma down there. And I was just a fussy. I, I was fussing with my wife about it. But when he hit the city, it was like the Holy Ghost. I mean, the, we had revival that week. So many people got saved, filled with the Holy Ghost. We got a bunch of board acts right there on the wall. We'll call board acts in Bay Town, Texas. You know the mantle of God with that mantle rest upon people? One of the mantles that rest upon our lives in Bay Town, Texas, from Pastor Marvin T. Boyd, was the mantle of fasting and prayer. Pastor Boyd would fast and pray, call our church, faith and Baptist ministry. We're going to fast and pray tonight. We'll be all on the altar, under the seats, crying, snot before God. Yes, seeking the face of God. If we know anything, in Baytown, Texas. Wow. That's we know how to pray. I'm going to shut it down because we've got two minutes. I'm on my last minute. Uh, I'm going to ask you. Apostle Boy is too, too, if I can get too adjectives to describe him. He's good, he's good, and he's great. You can be great without being good. There are great men that were killers, stealers, liars. But they did great things. And the way they did. But Pastor Boyd, good, called part of character, Holy Ghost. There's two sides of the Holy Ghost. One, the fruit of the Spirit. The other one is the gifts of the Spirit. He operated in both of them. Love, meekness, joy, long suffering, peace. That's how he operated. He was a man of great character. He was also a great man. Nobody could preach like him. That's We love you. God bless you. We're praying for the Lord and for the Catholic. We're praying for you. I'm always there. God bless you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Minister Pat Holmes from Baytown, Texas. Bless you. Bless you. I said I wasn't going to do that. So thankful to be here to celebrate the legacy of a legend, Pastor Marvin Bull. Faith Impact Church started in my living room. We had church in the living room, children's church in my master bedroom. I still say sis that I learned from Sister Kathy Boyd. <laughs> I kept Brother Boyd up for hours going through that Bible and explaining the scriptures to me. I became hungry for the things of God. We represent the harvest from Baytown, Texas. God bless you. Thank you for the Baytown, the Houston area. I will never forget. Part 6, 1980. Pastor Boyd came to our town. We were all got saved on that night. What is this? So and so and so. The woman next day, inside. Such an awesome word of God came before. Pastor Boyd blessed us, married us, he blessed our children. And uh, so many things he spoke into our lives. And every word he said, not one John or one two. And this word fell into the ground. He was an awesome man. I remember the first time I heard him preach. I thought, God, what man of man is this? I am going to the house out of the people standing here for the house of life. I thank God for this, Mr. Kathy. Your love for us. Thank God for the house of Lord and people. Love you all to see you here today. Stop that. Right. So, we want to all of the ministers in the house and to the Lord family who I love to you. I'm trying to sum it up that I got the mission, but. I have so many wonderful stories and so many things to say about that boy. But if I were to sum it up in less than a minute, I would say, One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. And I know he was the blood from me. Amen. That's my testimony for Lord and Lord. Because he taught me the message of the cross and he taught me the power of the blood of Jesus. And if I have a legacy that I would think I would pull from him, 
I think that he will want me to teach others about the cross and about the power of the blood of Jesus. Continue to pray our strength in the Lord and I let you for a family. My ministry is called Friends in Ministry, F-I-M. And I go into the streets and get the homeless, the drug addicts. Pastor Martin Ford, administrator for the And I was very honored to work for a mighty man of God. He was just a wonderful pastor, a wonderful leader that loved his family, loves the Catholic boy, and loved the ministry, and just loved all the women and men of God. Opportunity to live with the boy for five years. I watched him his life and just had to be the boys. And I've really seen a man of prayer. I've seen a woman of love. They love me so much. The boy is the first man in all of my work in this life that I met that was better by his nature than I was by my last Christian woman. <laughs> Look, this might be the realest song I ever wrote. Melodies from heaven, I hit every note. The feeling of a failure, I will never know. Cause now I wear my future like a leather coat. And I saw my mom and him, they had the most amazing marriage. They never fought, never got to see their father They did, they were very good, they were very good, they were very good, they were very good, they were That encouraged me and my wife. And till this day, never, never had a fight. <laughs> never had a fight that lasted less than. <laughs> I was like, that's a big one to live up to. Right? I didn't even know. I just went into the barbershop and they just come to me like, you know, your father did this. And, I, and I've heard a lot of stories, but. I'm, I'm just now realizing the level of greatness that, that he has, all because of God, God in him. We're about to see a cataclysmic change in the spiritual affairs in the church world and in the house of God. We have moved from the end of one age into another. It was just a few years ago, we were standing at the opening of the door from one millennium and stepped into the door of a new millennium. And this is a very important time. It is a very sobering time. It is a very spiritually and strategic time in the history of the church. And there is an unction, there is a knowing, there is a sensing, there is a discerning, amen, a spiritual sensing, and everybody that's tuned in, that God is about to do something, God is about to do something, what he has done in the past, I will thank him for, but I have not seen, ear have not heard, nor has it entered into the heart of men, amen, what God is about to do, he's about to reveal and unveil his greatest glory.